it, everyone can get a 260 plus just by maturing Zonkey or Onking, then 260 will be the new average. Welcome back to my YouTube channel guys. My name is Tin Chu, currently a fourth year medical student. I have been wanting to make this video for the longest time and I wrote it a while back already after I took my step one. Um, and it's just been in the back burner, I haven't gotten a chance to get to it. But even though step one is past fail now, I still think it's important that we talk about this stuff. You are not gonna get a 270 in your step one. It's just the reality, you know, like the people who score in the 95th, 99th percentile who get these scores, they just have something that we don't have as average student, as a terrible test takers and average test takers. They have unworldly, ungodly test taking skills. They just have really good instincts for picking, narrowing down the answer and then picking the correct one, even the experimental questions. And that's just something that I don't have personally and the majority of students don't don't have. If everyone can get a 260 plus just by maturing Zonkey or Onking, then 260 will be the new average. It wouldn't be the 90th, 95th percentile. There are crucial steps and like missing information that's left out by posts and videos on YouTube about that you read and hear from people getting a 260 or 270s on their step one just by finishing and maturing Zonkey or the Onking deck. And you know what most of these videos have in comments in the post is that they all talk about doing a lot of practice questions. And this just correlates to being a good test taker. It's doing practice questions is how you increase your you know, test taking ability, like hone your test taking skills. They all talk about learning how to get into the question writer's head. And this is still something that I struggle with. like like to think about and and when i read the stem and the questions and it just you know it's just like these people they just seem to have like a sense of what they're trying to ask you and i believe this is something that you can develop but this is not something that zonki and maturing zonki and the unking deck is going to help you with if you are not a good test taker then you most likely won't score high in your step one if you didn't get a high score on your mcat like i did and like i came in hopefully you know i came to med school and like you know i did ban the mcat but like if I study really hard and like work really hard at it, maybe I'll do really well in my step one too. But there's a reason why medical school chooses the MCAT as an entrance requirement. Because if you can do well in your MCAT, it just means you're a good test taker. And you're able to do, take standardized exams really well. And that correlates with how well you're going to do in your step one and step two and be able to pass step one and step two. So now that step one is pass fail, this can be a higher weighted you know opinion on step two so you still get an ace another standardized exam so step two is gonna be the new step one and you still gotta do really well on step two in order to get into a good residency or even just to match you're gonna start seeing people dropping videos and posts about how they did ridiculously well in their step two i'm gonna tell you that everyone's studying much the same way in third year during your clinical years because you all have busy with your time doing like being in the hospital literally it's just you world and doing Anki cards and doing questions when you can get home a little bit of reading if you can but most of the time it's pretty much the same you pretty much have the same amount of dedicated period so what boils down to it it's going to be your test taking skills that hopefully you've developed over the past three years in medicals i'm going to go into more details in my lady in the later videos about studying for step two and how it's different from studying for step one but just know that doing well in your step one even now is pass fail is also crucial to doing well in your step two because the materials build on each other i'm glad I did, that i did not suspend my step one cards even after i finished taking step one i still kept it and keep doing my reviews because a lot of the same stuff and the concepts and materials shows up for step two like just more information you gotta learn now, like management and next steps. So while I think that Zonki and Onking is a great tool for medical students with these pre-made decks, I also believe that working your test taking ability is very, very important that a lot of people seem to like neglect them and, and kind of overlook like I did because I didn't really 
I just thought that if I learn other stuff and do my things, then I will be able to do well in the exams. But that's not necessarily the case. I want to share this with you guys so you guys don't make the same mistake that I did as an average test taker. And you know, most of us is going to be average test takers. We all not going to be excellent test takers. That's just the skills that you gotta learn. I'm gonna say this and take this with you guys is that don't worry too much about maturing and finish, finishing the whole deck for Zonki or the Onking deck. Um, just study as best as you can and do when you do your practice question, do it with intentionality. Like, don't just brush over the, the explanations and make copy and paste the answers for Anki cards. Uh, I'm not gonna get into it in this video, but you know, at least after you watch this, you know, go look up how to do your question, how to review it. Uh, if you can, listen to the Divine Intervention podcast about how he recommends making Anki cards when you do your questions. Because I did, I follow his advice and it totally changes how I review my your questions from before and really help the material stick. Make sure you supplement your Anki with a lot of practice questions as this is how you can hone your test taking skills. Remember that Anki is only half the battle. If you guys enjoyed this video, if you found this helpful, please subscribe, turn, turn on notifications, give me a thumbs up, comments down below what you want to see next. If you guys enjoyed this video, share it with your friends, with your classmates, and don't make the same mistakes that I did. Until next time, it's your boy Ten.